Hi guys, it's Kelly from Cards by Christine here with you on a Sunday afternoon. This is a new one. <laughs> um, here for mystery card night. So I am so sorry that I had to reschedule this. Um, was not feeling great. I had a headache all day on Thursday and I was working from home and I was working on a really like detailed design project on my computer for probably four hours and a bad headache got worse and I, I got dizzy and oh, whatever, I'm better. It passed. Um, I just didn't feel like I'd be able to comprehend or cohesively walk you through the mystery card, which was not what we were going for. So, um, all right, everybody. Look it, got 13 people on already. That is awesome. Um, I am... Okay, good, good, good. We are all up and running. I found the video. All the comments are coming through, so that is great. Um, so yeah, so glad that you guys could pivot and join me tonight, um, or this afternoon, or wh whatever time it is where you guys are at. My husband is at home with the kiddos watching football. He is like all about football, so he is in, in heaven right now. Football season is back. Um, so you've got your substitute teacher today. Chris is somewhere in the skies, um, flying home from a trip. I think she was in Vegas. I don't remember. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> um, but she is on her way back. So you are catching me today instead of Thursday, but that is all good. So is everyone excited for mystery card? Do you have your supplies ready? I hope you have your supplies ready. Um, I'll give you a, a preview at what I'm sure you already saw. Here's clue one. So hopefully this is what you have in front of you if you um, had the opportunity to prep. You had a couple extra days, so I, I hope you got what you need. Um, take a peek at this. Um, grab your stuff if you didn't, um, and we'll get underfoot here. I couldn't find the magnifying glass. Um, it may have found a little bit of a new home since the last time I've done a mystery night. I don't, <laughs> football is on every channel. Football is like always on. I am not, I don't know. I'm not, not a football person, but so Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, Wisconsin's football team is the Green Bay Packers. It's like cult-esque around here. Um, my husband did not understand. We've been together for like over 10 years and he is such, such, such a football fan that like he didn't understand how I wasn't like an emphatic Packer fan because we live in Packer Nation. He's not a Packer fan. He's a Denver Broncos fan. But like I would tell him about how like, yeah, I mean, sometimes we'd watch football if it was the only thing on or like whatever. And he just like, it blew his mind that like that's just how much of a football fan he is so oh he is so silly um but it's one of his greatest passions i i love that he loves it it's just i'll sit and watch with him but i won't watch if he's not home so oh that's one of those crazy things but anyways so yeah and i am just like crazy we are ugh. so back to school we're two weeks in Zachary is in kindergarten he is loving it he is doing such a great job I'm so proud of him um you know hanging out with his friends making new friends making new memories learning oh it's so great he um so while that's happening though not that you know these are two completely different things, but we've been doing a home renovation project. Not we, I mean, it's our house, but we're not doing it. We have a contractor doing it. Um, all new siding, uh, all new windows, all new doors, new siding. Well, we had the two main windows and the front door and the patio door replaced last year, but then this year we did all the rest of the doors and the windows. And re new siding, which, I mean, it's great, but it was going to be a three-week project, and I knew that it wasn't going to take three weeks because our house just is notorious for all houses, I guess, are notorious for unearthing problems you didn't expect to be there. Um, so we're six weeks in and really hopeful that this is the last week. I'm like almost, it's not going to take the whole week this week. They've got just a little bit left, but I am like 
done. <laughs> Uh, my dad is also replacing outlets and light fixtures. Um, so, like, you know, just getting all the outlets to match all the same color or just, you know, whatever. But it's just I'm ready for it to be done. And then I'm painting, too. Um, we repainted all the bedrooms when we moved in about six years ago. Um, but that was about it. And we just don't have touch-up paint for a lot of the other places. So we're just simplifying. We're repainting everything besides the bedrooms because we did the bedrooms um and i don't know why i don't know why i wanted to do this all but here we are <laughs> but it feels so good i am so happy um with the progress and it's looking wonderful it's just i feel like a crazy chaotic person and i am a crazy chaotic person so here we are <laughs> All right, everyone is like on the same fan as me. Mm, just football. Football's football. Okay, not everyone, but uh, Tony likes watching football. Okay, awesome. Okay, so it sounds like we've, oh, we've got 33 people on. They've all just been listening to my crazy craziness. Um, hit that like button if you haven't yet, and I'm going to flip back down to clue one, give you one last opportunity to grab the stuff around you, the supplies you need, um, and we will get going any minute here. I need to like it as well. I was number five. Okay, so there's 30 of us on, so let's see if we can get that at least up to 20. Okay, so let's see here. I need to go back. Where's my chat? Live chat has moved. Well, just show me where it is. There it is. Okay. So hello, hello, hello. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you for rescheduling yourselves to be here with me tonight. Sorry if I'm distracting you from football, and you're welcome if I'm distracting you from football. Choose whichever one of them makes the most sense for your narrative. Um, all right. Hello from Central Illinois, Southwest Michigan, Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. <laughs> Anyone else? Hello all. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, Pennsylvania, Texas. Awesome. West Michigan. All right. So glad you are all here with me today. I need some caffeine. I need some water. Did I? Oh, I left my water out in the car. All right. I'll be fine. Okay. So here we have clue number one. Um, and I'll bring around my stuff. I have my own little stash of stuff here with me. So my card obviously doesn't look like a card. But okay, so we're starting with the white. So the pieces, uh-oh, where are my tiny pieces? Oh, they probably fell out. Of course they did. Okay, so we have um, white or vanilla. We have a five and a quarter by four. We have a one half by two and a quarter. I'm gonna quick check and see if it's in my bag or I'll cut a new one. And we have a two and a half, either circle or square. Um, I'm inclined, knowing what this looks like, to think that a circle might look better. But if you have a square, that is absolutely not a problem. Um, I have even a couple suggestions for our square users on how it could maybe um, dress it up just a little bit. Northern California, Pennsylvania, um, hello, and liked and shared, that is awesome. Thank you guys so much, I appreciate it. Um, okay, I'm just gonna grab a piece of white here quick and make a piece that I lost. So my apologies on that. Okay. A little bit of hairy craziness in there. Okay, so this is half an inch and we are looking for two and a quarter. So Texas, another Texas, one, two and a quarter. So we're just gonna, that was a very scientific measurement right there. Um, I'm gonna write on it for you guys. No, I don't have a black one. Central New York, wonderful, thanks for sharing. Okay, half, inch by two and a quarter inch okay so now we have that missing piece back okay so those are the white or vanilla pieces we also have here now coordinating cardstock one it is 11 inches by four and a quarter score and fold at three and a half and nine inches on the 11 inch side so that's what that looks like all right Coordinating card stock two, we've got one and three quarters by four. We have 
three and a quarter by four, and we have three by three, either circle or square. Boom, boom, and boom. And then last but certainly not least, we have our coordinating card or coordinating pa patterned paper um, in the Stampin' Up World DSP. Oops. We have a three by three, three by three and three quarters, and one half by three and three quarters. So those are the pieces that hopefully you have all prepped. We also are going to have scraps of paper in, um, in any variety of all of these supplies if you want to add anything or level it up in any way, shape, or form. And of course, we need coordinating inks and markers, colored pencils for sentiment, and image, ribbon, or linen, thread, embellishment, scissors, adhesives of choice. So that is what hopefully you guys are all staring at right in front of you. Um, in knowing that we give Clue 1 ahead of time, and most people are always prepped and ready to go, I'm going to move on to Clue number 2. From here on out, though, if you want to shoot me a thumbs up or a comment that you are through the Clue, um, it'll just help me keep pace with you because I'm not actually going to be stamping in front of you. Um, I will be mocking up the motions with you, um, but I can kind of just tend to either ramble on and take too long or, or go too fast because I'm just not comprehending how long it actually takes to do these steps. So just keep me on pace. Um, but we are going to move on to clue number two with my imaginary magnifying glass because I don't know where it went. <laughs> okay, so clue number two. Oh my goodness, that's right. I printed it front to back and then I reprinted it. So there we go. Okay, here's clue number one again. We're just, we're rolling with the punches. Okay, fold and burnish the card base on the score lines. The small flap goes on the bottom of this vertical facing card. So let's move that off to the side. So here is your card base. It is four and a quarter by 11. We've got it scored at, if I recall, it was three and a half and nine. Let's see here. Score and fold it three and a half and nine. So here are your score marks. We're going to bring in our bone folder and give that a nice burnish. And then we'll um, fold on that nine inch mark as well. And of course, fold it and burnish it. And then the small flap goes on the bottom of this vertical facing card. So that is really gonna set the framework for what we are doing for this card. And that is clue number two. Nice and simple, starting off slow, I like it. Got myself a little, <laughs> a little dented on the card, but that's okay. So my card is not going to be um, all that beautiful. It's going to be red, white, pink, and a clashing <laughs> version of red. Um, so that is that. Um, pretty simple step. I'm also about 20 seconds ahead of you. So it's going, it usually takes a little bit for me to catch up to your comments. So sorry if I'm not pacing. I haven't done a mystery card in a while either. So I'm a little out of touch with this world. So thank you for your patience. Um, but we are going to knock this one out of the park. So what do we think? I have a feeling we are through step number two. So we are going to move on to clue number three. Ah, I always do that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm real like engaged and enmatic tonight. I'm like, ah! I had um, a good day. I was able, I was able to go get lunch with, or it was brunch with a former coworker, and she had a three, three to four ish month old baby. Um, she brought her her son with her and the boys. Oh my god, I just wanna, I, I must share. Sorry, we're we're taking a little sidestep. Um, we. Da, 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 da. they were just loving up on him um it was so adorable uh so Zachary's five Jacob's three um and they were just so enamored with him it was so cute they were kissing him loving up on him it was just precious love those boys to bits okay sounds good let's get back to number three okay so now we're going to start bringing in some of these pieces and here the three by three and three quarter coordinating pattern paper, CPP coordinating pattern paper 
to the three and a quarter by four inch coordinating cardstock too. Okay, so that's gonna go on there. And then the next step is adhere the one and a half by three and three quarters coordinating pattern paper to the one and three quarters by four inch coordinating cardstock too. So that's this. And then adhere to the card base. So that is, you know, we're gonna go ahead and adhere with your adhesive of choice there, there, and then onto the card base. So now if your paper is directional, hopefully it is matching this direction. If not, of course, you can swap your card around and um, have your patterned paper in the right direction. But go ahead, layer them in their mats, and boom, boom, and boom, adhere it down. Um, your adhesive of choice is whatever you prefer. In this instance, um, and you know what, I may as well just do it so that my thing doesn't shifty shifty all over the place. I usually end up using um, liquid glue. I love liquid glue. I do know liquid glue and any adhesives um, sometimes don't work in whatever weather climate conditions you have. Um, so maybe you want to use a tape roller or, um, you know, Whatever you choose to use is absolutely your discretion, but you will see me grabbing for my liquid glue because it is my favorite adhesive of choice. Um, if you've never done Mystery Card Night before, um, feel free to snap a screenshot of the clues if you want directions on how to remake this card. It is also super nice because clue one, you can either, again, snap a screenshot of it or, um, you can just download the image from the when it was posted on Facebook because um, then you have all the measurements. So that is so great to have on hand if you love this layout and want to make it again. Okay, so that is, um, and Melanie, you are coming in just at the right time. Literally all we did um, was layer up these layers and of course burnish the card base. So um, feel free to jump in or catch the replay. Um, that would work as well. Yes, hello to all the teacher friends out there. It is awesome that um, <sighs> my first career aspiration was to be a second grade teacher. Maybe it was third, I can't remember. I think it was third. Um, I. I would have loved to be a teacher. I really don't know where I went wrong um, or like where my path led me to a different way. But honestly, it has come so full circle. I have worked at the Children's Museum for about four and a half years now. And I came on at the museum in marketing and communications. And I love that. Um, I went to school for graphic design and um, I'm good at it. I enjoy doing it. But... At the museum, I still do the Facebook stuff and all that stuff, but um, I have really prospered and grown into other parts of the organization, and now I am doing um, programs and events as well, and I am loving every minute of it. I get to teach a music class, and I'm not musically inclined, but, you know, they're just two and three and four, and it's all right. <laughs> Uh, but it's so much fun. I love working at the museum, um, and it really brings out the teacher in me. Please put the clue back up. There you go. Here you go, Tracy. Sorry about that. So, how are we doing? Let me know if we are back up and running, if we need a little more time with clue number three. Um, but basically, we are layering the pattern paper onto the mat and then adhering that to our card base. So I hope that um, that is all on pace for everyone. And as you can tell, our card is taking shape and I'm sure you can imagine what it's looking like. Um, having a beautiful, kind of fun fold um, card here. It's a vertical, vertical card that we've got going on and we've got just a few more pieces. This one's coming together hot and heavy. It's, it'll be done before you know it. Um, so we are getting a decent amount of ready for the next step. So we will be moving on to clue number four. So this is where we're going to slow her down just a bit. Um, 
We're gonna bring in our pieces of white or vanilla. So stamp your focal images, image or images, on the two and a half by two and a half white or vanilla circle or square. And then when you're done with that, you're also going to, um, so I, I tried to kind of batch some of the stamping together for you. So once that is done, we're gonna adhere it to the mat. So that would be this, but I also put on this step to stamp the sentiment on the one half by two and a quarter white or vanilla strip. So we're kind of doing the stamping all at the same time. Now I did, and I'm just gonna talk now. So do your stamping, um, you know, keep working, but I'm gonna kind of talk you through. If you have a square, I have a couple suggestions. Um, so if you have a square, this is, spoiler alert, going to end up on here. Now this, is the same height you've got three inches by three inches as this pattern paper so it kind of fits in there without like it kind of hogs up that space so before you glue it on um i have a couple suggestions you can either if it's a square i mean if it's a circle too you can you know whatever your discretion but def definitely if it's a square i would cut this mat down to two and three quarters by two and three quarters, or even a little skinnier than that. You could have a nice skinny little border because um, then you'll get a little bit of that patterned paper around it. Or another suggestion that I have, depending on what your focal image is, you could go ahead and, really awkward with the scissor there, you could go ahead and make a cute different shape um, to give a little bit more of a peak of that um, DSP behind. So I kind of like that. And then I was going to go ahead and trim this down and do the same on that um, background mat. So if it's a circle, obviously it's going to take up less of a footprint on there. Um, but again, these are just ideas. And the joys of creating a mystery card is you take this and give it your creative license. So if you are, you know, not digging exactly how it is, make it however you want to see it because it is your beautiful creation and you are sharing it with us and we're just happy that we're inspiring you to make something. So just like I am right now, kind of taking my own creative license, if you like if you have a square image um, and you like it two and a half by two and a half with a three by three inch mat and then kind of just hanging out up on this top area, absolutely go for it. There is no one here that's going to tell you that that is not what you should be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that little funny cut on the corners there for my creation. Um, woo! Hi, Chris. Hope your traveling is going well. Um, I'm gonna pop that in there and then I'm going to shimmy off the corners like I did on the white piece. So on my pretend mystery card, that is what I'm doing. So just for anyone who was busy stamping and missed it as a little bit of a recap, what I did is um, I didn't love the square taking up that whole area on the pattern paper. So what I did was I took my mat and instead of my mat being a three inch by three inch square, I shimmied it down to two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then I made that crazy little silly cut on the corners there for um, a little bit of extra detail and design. And of course, depending on what your focal image looks like, which is a mystery to me because I don't know what you what supplies you have right in front of you. Um, but depending on what your specific supplies look like that might not work um, and that's okay so go ahead and make whatever your heart desires um, and let me know as you finish up on step number four excuse me clue number four I'm pretending, <laughs> I feel like I'm making a Valentine's card right here. Oh, and here's my little um, sentiment. So go ahead and stamp that. Um, that's also a part of this step. So a lot of stamping going on for this step. Um, so take your time, do not rush. Um, we want you to make, Paula is done with step number four. We want you to make a beautiful creation. And I don't want you to feel rushed. 
So, let's see, and we've got 39 people stamping along with us. So, thank you all for joining in. So happy that you're here. And I wanted to share as well. <laughs> so it's been a little bit of a chaotic day. Like I said, um, we've been, well, it's been a chaotic six weeks, but we've been um, cleaning and um, doing some, some construction work. Oh, that's super cute. My sons are super into Super Mario right now. And Chris has always loved Super Mario. So <laughs> she's got some Mario toys back here that are just adorable. And my kiddos would be having a heyday over. Um, but yeah, so <sighs> I've been listing some stuff on Marketplace um, as we've been going through and cleaning out some stuff as we've been... Um, as we've been going through this construction. And man, I don't know if anyone else can empathize with this. Okay, we're getting some more um, duns. I'll wait for maybe two more duns and then we, um, we'll move on to clue number five. Um, marketplace. So I have not been selling much on Marketplace. I've been a consumer on Marketplace. I'll go grab some Mario stuff or some stuff for the boys. Um, and I've listed probably four or five things in the last week or so and all the scammers it is so scary um it makes me really reconsider wanting to list things on marketplace um but yeah does anyone else have any issues with that um it's like you post something and then as soon as you post it you get somewhere between five and ten just random people um you know and it's not too difficult to decipher um because you know their account is brand new since 2023 and um, they always ask for your cell phone and I don't give that out um, on my marketplace stuff. So it's crazy. Okay, so I see five people tell me that they're done with clue number four. So we will move on then to clue number five. Okay, so like I said, kind of trying to keep the stamping all batched together for you. So we're bringing in the last piece that we haven't used yet. We're gonna go ahead and stamp on the five and a quarter by four inch inside piece. Now this of course is an optional step. Um, your card does not need to be stamped on the inside, but I know a lot of people do that. So I wanted to throw that in as a step number five. So um, go ahead and stamp, you know, if you've got a sentiment or corresponding imagery, um, whatever you want to do on the inside. And if you are not stamping on the inside, that is a-okay, but you will still need to adhere this mat to the inside of your card. So even if you're not stamping, go ahead, grab your, grab your adhesive and pop that sucker on the inside. It's just going to be centered on the inside mat here. Um, get that guy glued down. Yeah, the scammers, I mean, I've listed stuff on Marketplace before more in a like, hey, we're having a rummage sale context. And that was years ago. Um, but s since the last time I sold things on Marketplace, it, it was not like that before. Like it was really, and at first when you don't know this, it really gets your hopes up. Cause they're like, yes, oh my gosh, I'm gonna sell that thing. It's gonna be super great. Get that extra money, get it out of the house, live it onto its next life. No. Don't get your hopes up <laughs> until it seems like a real person. So anyways, that was, um, I actually had a marketplace meetup before I headed over here and it was so cool. Sorry. Um, I've got so many fun stories. I haven't talked to you guys in so long. Um, Green Bay, a uh, gentleman came out from Green Bay to pick up an old door. Um, I had a listing of seven old doors and there was one in particular that he wanted um, and the door was from, it was old. It was very old. All of the doors were and very cool. Um, he has a house in Green Bay. So that's about an hour from where we live. And I was like, you, you want to come down for a $20 door all the way from Green Bay? Um, but he did because his house was from the 1800s, late 1800s, and he was renovating it. And, um, so it matched the exact door. He said there were a couple doors in their house that were missing and it was the exact style of the doors that existed in his house. And he said, you know, he would have never guessed how difficult it would be to find these exact doors. And they're just, they weren't anything special. Um, it was just a four pane door and, um, but, and he gave me the sizes and I mean, the size was almost exactly the same. So it was, it was exactly what he was looking for. 
And it felt so good because, I mean, what would have I done with these doors otherwise? I had some intention of maybe um, repurposing them or using them for a, a craft project or something like that. But that or it was going to end up in the dump, which is sad. So I'm so glad that um, some of these things that I'm passing on, you know, not getting a ton of money for. And that's not really what it's about even. It was about moving it on and, and, and living its next life. And I'm so happy that we um, were able to make that connection and able to move some of this stuff on and so cool. So I've been, <laughs> there's the, the struggle and the success of some of that Facebook Marketplace stuff. Done with number five. Thank you, Tony. We'll wait for just a few others to hopefully catch up with us on that. Um, the stamping steps are always the steps that take a little bit longer, um, especially if you're stamping and um, maybe either fussy cutting or filling any details in with colors or markers or whatever um, coloring utensils that you have. It can go at a completely variable speed um, for our friends in the virtual world here. So thank you for being patient as some of the rest of our friends are catching up with us. And thanks for listening and commenting to my, some of my crazy stories um, that I'm keeping you busy with. All right, we'll wait for one more person to share that they have completed clue number five, and then we'll move on. As you can tell, I'm sure, so this is as far as we've made it. We've got our mats of paper on, and then, of course, we've got our inside, the stuff that we're working on right now, inside stamped up and adhered. So I think you can imagine where some of these pieces are going. You may have actually, of course, I spilled beans on some of that in some of my prep okay lynn is also up to speed with us so let's go ahead and move on to clue number six which <laughs> would have never guessed it i'm sure adhere the circle or square or whatever the sh shape is to the front of the card using dimensionals now of course dimensionals are optional if you don't have dimensionals that is a-okay um but if you have dimensionals, it really is a nice way to pop this up, give the card some more um, pizzazz and dimension. So in lieu of that, you will see me just use liquid glue because this card, of course, is not going to anyone. It is not um, a real card. So I'm going to save myself the few ah, dimensionals and just <laughs> very eloquently place that on there. But yes, my suggestion is if you have the supplies, go ahead, pop that up with dimensionals. I think it'll help elevate the card. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> again, card is not a real card, so it doesn't really matter if it's got a little smudgy on it, but get some of that adhesive off with the adhesive eraser. I love my adhesive eraser. Gets used more often than I care to admit, but now all of that gunkiness has come off. So um, that is clue number six. Another simple clue for you. Let me know when you're done. Throw me a thumbs up or um, any indication that we are ready to move on to clue number seven. I think we just have two more steps. Maybe, even, eh, no, I think there's two more steps. Um, we're, as I'm sure you can tell, your card is probably nearing completion, um, starting to take shape. And um, we just got to go ahead and get our sentiment on there. I hope um, your sentiment, um, some of you might be scrambling for a smaller sentiment. Obviously, not real many things are going to fit in this one. That also, though, is where you could include some of that sentiment on the inside here. Of course, we've got nothing but space in there. Um, yeah, but we've just got to get our sentiment on there and done with number six. Thanks, Tony. You are, like, on it. You are... I think the person who has been done first every time she is the winner of the race so um yeah just a couple more steps and then we're gonna have a beautiful card um just to share with you as i'm filling in some of this air time the the graphic that you post the completed card on um, you will find that on the Facebook page in the event. Um, it did post on Thursday night. It was pre-scheduled. Um, so that post is already out there. So that is where you are going to. Thank you, Susan Murphy. We are done. So we'll move on to the next step. That is where you will find that post. Go ahead and comment your picture of your card when you're done with it. More to come on that. All right. So now if you have ribbon, 
go ahead, layer your ribbon behind the sentiment, so that's this piece, and adhere to the bottom flap of the card front. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a piece of ribbon off the side here. I'm not actually um, going to adhere it down because that is wasteful. So um, how I would suggest, there's a couple different ways that you could do this, and it kind of depends on what type of ribbon you have. Um, something like this is beautiful. Go ahead and give it a little flap over and under. Um, what I would do if you're doing that, I would put some tear and tape here, throw that on the tear and tape. Then I like to finish it with a tear and tape sandwich that doesn't get the back peeled off of it. And then I'd throw two dimensionals here. So if you have a small piece of thicker ribbon, I would do that. Um, if you have a thinner piece, you could go ahead and do the lamb technique. Of course, you could get away with that with something like this as well, but with this being so small, um, it might look overbearing with that. The lamb technique, I would go ahead and um, put a piece of tear and tape on the bottom here and just weave back and forth your um, ribbon. And of course, with the tear and tape, it'll just stick there, which of course this is not going to do because um, you know I don't have enough fingers. But basically, that would look like this. You'd weave it top to bottom, or um, left to right, top to bottom, kind of <laughs> depends what way you're holding it. Um, and then you'd have a beautiful ribbon accent down here. Um, if you have a twine, you could, and this is not twine, but we're just gonna imagine here. I don't think I have anything at my disposal. Um, you could go ahead and put a piece of tear and tape here and then make a rat's nest. So kind of hold your four fingers together, wrap it around usually three, four, five times and then plop it down on there. Um, and then when you're done with that, you could go ahead and put another, usually I like to put a piece of tear and tape over the top just to kind of um, get cover any of the stickiness that is still exposed. And again, I probably would go ahead and use some dimensionals there and then pop that on. Of course, if um, ribbon is not your style, you never need to do it um, unless you think you like it. I will go ahead and post a link in the comments here um, after we're done that links you to that Facebook post where you can go ahead and post it. So thanks for letting me know. I will do that before I leave today. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to use ribbon, that is totally okay. Um, you can also um, just put it on with dimensionals and pop it here. Um, whether you use ribbon or not, you can go ahead and either tear the edges. I love tearing. That was big when I had first started into stamping. Um, somewhat is coming back. Um, otherwise, you could diagonal the edges. Um, might look cool, especially if you did that there. Um, I probably would have gone and at least kept the diagonals the same way. Um, but something like that you could do to spice up that little piece with your sentiment on it. So get that finished up throw your sentiment on your card. Perfect. I'll get that link in there for you. Okay. So we're going to pretend that that looks beautiful. <laughs> it's, uh, it's okay. Card looks special. Um, all right. So how are we doing? Are we coming close to finishing up clue number seven? Just to let you know, there are only eight clues on this card, so the next one is the last one. Um, so let's just hang together as we finish up the last few steps of our mystery card. Always goes so fast. It's funny, um, when you are sitting there designing a card um, from scratch, it can take hours. You know, you might have some picture in mind of what the card might look like. You might have, you know, a bundle or a suite or a color scheme or, you know, you'll have something in your mind that's drawing you to make this card. But you can get real like locked up in the details. Um, but when you have the card formula and you have, you know, basically clue one in front of you and you know exactly what you're doing. And then of course we walk through the steps of exactly how to do it. A card can really come together. I mean, obviously I talked for the first probably 10 minutes. So we got through this thing in about half an hour. That is not too bad. Okay. So we are going to move on to the final clue. That is clue number eight and clue number eight eight, or I should say the final clue is always embellish or Stella to your heart's content. Now, 
again, I do not know what colors you have in front of you, what ribbon, what sweet, what anything. I don't know what your card looks like. That is part of the mystery. Um, so I can't really tell you how to do it. But, you know, on a card like this, I'd probably throw some embellishments down here. Maybe, you know, some amount of odd embellishments, three or five, maybe even seven. Um, Stella, you always got to throw Stella on that, um, focal image. Oftentimes it's nice to maybe bring a little bit of that either coloring or Stella or something onto the inside as well. Um, another fun thing about this card that you could do completely and totally up to you. Um, you could throw something off this bottom edge, maybe some ribbon, um, a die cut, um, and in making more of these with that clue one in the future, you could um, add something to there. You could add something between these two layers if you wanted to hide like some ribbon ends or something like that. But you can totally take this card and take it to the next level. We are just giving you the framework to create the card that you then can make your own. So clue number eight, like I said before, is our last clue. So how are your cards coming together? Do you love it? Um, have you been inspired to make this beautiful fun fold? Um, can't wait. I love, my favorite part of Mystery Night is going into that event, finding that link. Like I said, Melanie, I will get you that link. Um, I'll throw it in the comments. I'm actually looking it up right now. Um, and seeing what everyone makes because they all look the same but they all look so different and it is so cool i'm like s-t-e-r-a card making with cards by christine okay so let's find that event um okay so i think i found it let's see if that is in the discussion there it is. Like I said, it, it posted like it originally was intended for Thursday. So my sincere apologies about the reschedule. Um, but thank you so much for um, hanging it out with me. Um, we are going to copy and paste this link into the video. So let's go to the video. And then, yeah, so how are we doing? Okay, no one has commented, so I think we're still putting the beautiful finishing touches on our cards, which are great. I cannot, like I said, I can't wait to see it. Okay, here's the live. Okay, so let's get in there. Oopsies, I clicked on the wrong part. Ha ha ha. Okay, so let's see it. And then I'll throw that into the video. Okay, so let's see if I can do that. Yes. Whoa! Oh my goodness, sorry. Okay, so now where are the comments on a computer? Okay, cards by Christine. Boom! Okay, so any minute now you should be seeing, well, probably 20 seconds from now, you should be seeing that link coming through. Oh, there it is. Wow, that was fast. Woohoo! Okay, so Tony is done again, Tony. You are our record, our pace setter. Um, thank you. I'm glad you had fun. I cannot wait to see what you made. Um, what do we think? Do we love the layout? Um, this is a fun one. Um, we of course will post the mystery card, our creation of the mystery card. Um, maybe within a week, something like that. Um, obviously this didn't go quite as scheduled because I was supposed to be doing this a couple of nights ago, but, um, I hope you love your creation. I really can't wait to see it there. Now it po showed up in the other spot. So um, I hyperlinked the place in the event in the discussions tab where you will find this beautiful graphic. Um, as always, that is where you navigate to. Go ahead, post it in this thread in the Facebook event. That is where we come back to to check for um, who all completed a mystery card. We go ahead and give away prizes to a random ge number generator to everyone who posts their card on this, this thread. And it is so awesome. Um, if you've never participated in mystery night before, it is so fun. 
to, you know, not only make a cool card, have the recipe for that card, but also to come back and see how yours looks just like and very different than everyone else's. So I love that. Um, it is, like I said, my favorite part of mystery card night is going and checking out all of the creations because, you know, some people make a Christmas card, someone's a birthday card, a wedding card, and it's just so cool to see all of the variations of the exact same layout. Okay, I think we're getting there. I'm seeing a bunch of people that are throwing some comments, so I think we're nearing the end. I hope you guys had a great time. It is always fun when we get an opportunity to get together and to stamp, um, even though my card probably is not as beautiful as your card. <laughs> it's very monochromatic and very, uh, you know, special. <laughs> Um, but I hope your cards are beautiful. I hope you love them. I hope you throw them right in an envelope and get them in the mailbox because the best part of making a card is getting it off to someone and putting a smile on their face. That is why we do it, right? Thank you so much. I hope to have a great week. I've got so many fun things going on. Um, we have a packed, a jam-packed September at the museum a lot of fun stuff. We're going to be celebrating Constitution Week um, in a week. We also have are celebrating at the end of the month the Worldwide Day of Play. So lots of really fun things happening at the museum. And we are kicking off our early learning program. So oh, it's just it's going to be a great month. And then September leads right into October. October is my favorite month of the year. My birthday is on October 7th. So um, always enjoy celebrating that. I love fall. I love celebrating my birthday. And then 10 days after is our anniversary. So a lot to be thankful for in October. So I am just, I'm coming into my prime. <laughs> so I hope you guys had a fantastic mystery night. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Thank you for hanging around. Thank you for coming back after um, my blunder on Thursday. So glad that you could um, accommodate me and come back here on this Sunday night. If you weren't able to, I hope you were able to catch the replay. Um, get that card made. Get it in the comments in the Facebook event. Um, I don't know when we will be pulling names. Oftentimes, it's usually about a week out. So I don't know. We'll maybe try to pull it before Thursday's live. If not, maybe we're pushing it out a little bit because of um, having to reschedule on you guys. But at any rate, get your card made if for no other reason than to make a beautiful card and to have fun doing it. And like I said, get it in the mail because that's where it belongs. It belongs in someone else's hand warming up their heart. So I hope you love your card. I hope you have a wonderful night. Cannot wait. I will be checking it out. I uh, cannot wait to see what you guys all made. And I hope you end this weekend, whether it's in front of a football game or not on a very positive note, looking towards a great week. So I am sending you lots of sunshine, love, and big hugs. And I'm going to count you out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5,